Greetings, I'm Christy Hemingway and I'm going to show you today how you install a package of bees into your Gold Star Top Bar Hive. First off, this is your Gold Star Top Bar Hive Startup Handbook. It has a good explanation of how to do everything you're about to see me do. The big difference you're going to see is that I'm doing this inside instead of outside. That's so that it's not windy so that you can hear me. <coughs> so, <coughs> I've gathered together some things that you need to get started. This is your feeder. This feeder tray fits inside the hive. This is a jar filled with one-to-one -one sugar syrup for the spring. It drips out through here. When it's done dripping, you set it in the tray. Okay, some other handy things. This is some rubbing alcohol. If you get stung, you can splash this on. It takes away the scent. You get stung less often after that. This is a jar of push pins. These are going to be useful when you go to attach the queen cage to the top bar when you do this installation. This is a sugar sprayer bottle. This is for spraying down the package so that they're a little less interested in you and a little more interested in cleaning the sugar off of themselves. This is a sheetrock screw. You're going to use this to remove the cork from the candy plug that's holding the queen in her cage. And this is a flat blade screwdriver. You're going to use this for prying the lid up off the package of bees. So let's start by doing this. We're going to open up this piece of the hive over on one end. This is your front entrances, those three holes. We're going to set our long tray with our sugar syrup already in it down inside here. Okay, this follower board you see has a hole that lets the bees get over to where the sugar syrup is. Take your jar, let it drip, set it in there. Now you can cover this side up. Now, we want to put your bees into a space about 10 bars wide. So let's take out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bars. There's your other follower board. Remove these bars. And essentially what you have now is a big bowl. There's the entrances for the bees. This is the space you're going to put them into. Alrighty. Now, once you've got your feeder in place, this is when you want your gear on. So get your jacket, put your jacket on, put your gloves on. We like this jacket in particular because the whole thing can be tossed into the washing machine. We think that's important because it helps avoid a situation where if you get stung only on the jacket, not through the jacket, then that venom can flank off later and cause an allergic reaction, believe it or not. If you don't get stung but you get exposed to that venom in the air, you can develop an, an allergy to that. So it's nice to be able to wash your jacket. There's the gloves. You get more confident with this, this is going to seem like a lot of overkill. But in the meantime, if you're new, it is no disgrace whatsoever to wear your gear, all right? I wear a helmet when I wear my motorcycle. I wear my bee veil when I work with my bees. But I'm on video. I need you to be able to see me, so I'm going to take this off. But at this point, this is where you would want it on. This is where you want to go get your package of bees. Okay. So there we are. This is what a package of bees more or less looks like. About a shoebox sized box. Inside there, in addition to 10,000 bees roughly, is a sugar syrup can and a small rectangular cage that has your queen in it. What you want to do now is pick up your sugar sprayer and you want to just lightly get them a little damp with sugar syrup. Both sides. Now they have something to think about. They can start eating sugar distracts them from you. Okay, now you need your flat blade screwdriver and you're going to pry this lid off. It might be cardboard, it might be masonite. It's going to be something to keep all of the, the can and the queen cage down inside. So pry this carefully up. At this point, not very many bees can possibly even get out of here, so pry this up 
Lean it off. Leave it close at hand. You're going to want it. The next thing you want to do is remove your queen cage. Now when you remove the queen cage, you're going to leave a gap in the box. So you'll want the lid. So pry her up out of there. There she is in her little cage. Set the lid back on. You want to take a look at her, make sure that she's okay, walking around inside there. Some of these queen cages come with, this is literally a quarter of a can lid. This is a little harder to work with, it's tough. Others come with a thin little strip of metal like this. It's a little easier to work with, it's more flexible, softer. We're going to work with the hard one just to show you how to do it. You want to take this and you want to bend it up so that you can see inside here there's a small hole. That small hole will have a cork in it. You want to take your sheetrock screw, reach in there, screw that just a little bit with your hand into the cork. Pull the cork out. What will be behind there will be some sugar candy. It's going to take the bees a couple days to get through there to release her. That's what you want. So this flap is up and the cork is removed and the candy is exposed. Now you want to install your queen in your hive. Grab yourself a push pin. You might want to grab two. It's pretty easy to bend one. Take a top bar and your queen cage. Work your, th your push pin through. Work it through. Going this way. Through your can lid. Attach it to your top bar so that she's dangling off of that off of that bar. Now what you really want is to have her in line with your top bar. So you might have to torque that around a little bit to get it lined up parallel like that. Okay, so now let's set her carefully inside here. She's in the space where the bees are going to go. Now your next challenge is to get that sugar can out of there. Here's how you do it. Move the lid. Put your thumb into the slot where that queen cage was, pushing on the lip of your can. That will pop this other lip up. Grab hold of it. Now you're going to likely get stuck as it comes out because the rim is big and it's tight fit so it might get caught and you might drop it back in there, no big deal. Pick it up again. Now that it's out, set that aside. Meanwhile, the lid goes back on. Alright, so you've still got roughly 10,000 bees. That's about three pounds worth of bees sitting in there. And at this point, if you want, you can do another quick little ching, 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 spray them down. But at this point, things go pretty quick. You pick up your bees, you hold that lid on, and you're going to bonk your bees. That's a scientific term. Ready? You're going to bonk the box. That's going to cause them all to fall into a big heap. And you're going to slip this off, and you're literally going to pour your bees right out of there into this big bowl space. Pour, 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 pour. Some of them aren't going to get out, no big deal. Set that underneath. Now you're going to take these top bars, set them back in place, right over top of your bees. You're being careful and gentle, you're not squishing any bees doing this. Nice and easy. Ta-da! Now what you've got is all those bees installed here, some bees in the air. All you need to do Pick up your lid, set it on there, and as we say, press play. You're now keeping bees, and we thank you for listening.